All right. Um, free response problem four from the 2017 AP stats exam says it was sociologist that was investigating the ages of grandparents of high school students. From a random sample of 10 high school students, a sociologist collected data on the current ages and years of the student's maternal grandparents. The data are shown in this table below. So we have the age of the grandma, the age of the grandpa, and the differences. So it looks like it's grandma minus grandfather. We got our means here and our standard deviations. Part A says to construct and interpret a 95% confidence interval for the population mean difference in age where we take the age of the grandmother minus the age of the grandfather of the maternal grandparents of high school students. So essentially we're trying to um, estimate with 95% confidence what the true main difference is of these, you know, the grandparents' ages, grandma minus grandpa. So um, I usually will break these down into the four step process, which I show my students like all throughout the year. Basically starting off with, you know, with the state, um, which is just what it says. Like you want to state what you're trying to, what you're trying to do, like what your goal is. Um, so we want to estimate the true main difference mu sub d, the, the d difference, where the mean true main difference is equal to the the true mean of the grandma minus the true mean of the grandfather. Um, at 95% confidence, mention the confidence level as well. So when you, the real, the main thing you want to make sure when you do this is to make sure you're, you're saying you want to, you're, you're, you're always trying to estimate the true population mean. Don't try to, don't, don't make the mistake of putting sample mean in here because that's wrong. That's because we knew, we know the sample mean. We're not going to try to estimate it. We know we can, we can actually get it. So make sure you don't make that mistake. So we're going to use a one sample. I don't want to give away too much. So one sample T interval. You can say a paired, a, a paired T interval for the true mean difference. And we got to check two conditions, the random condition and the normal large sample condition. Um, random condition, you can just say it's met because it's basically it, just, it tells you right here. Just make sure you just make it clear that you address it. And then the normal large sample condition is if you have a, leech, a large enough sample, usually it's going to be 30. I think some textbooks um, make it 25. But in this case, we only have 10. So um, we don't have a big enough sample to just move on. So what we want to do is inspect the sample data. So what I did, I put the data ready into my calculator. And um, I usually, well, I like making box plots, but you don't have to make a box plot. I think in the rubric they did a, a stem leaf plot. But um, here's the box plot of the data. So once you do that, um, you just have to draw a little sketch of it and make sure you mention that there's no strong skewness, there's no outliers. That means that it's, it's okay to move on, that this condition is met. We don't have a we don't have really reason to believe that the data is not going to be normal. And then we just do the calculation. So what I usually will do and tell my teach my students come the AP exam time is just how to do these calculations in your calculator. So I already have all the stats in here that, that are the data. And I mean, I have, I have the data in here. From here, you can, if you have the data, you can just calculate a 95% confidence interval. Go to stat, go to test. and go to T interval right here. Your calculator, maybe you have a newer version, so it's probably gonna be more clear and, like, and colors and whatever. So I'm old school, so I'm just, I'm just using this one. But um, I'm gonna input the data in my calculator, it's in list one. Make sure you answer the, the confidence level. And you calculate it, it's gonna give you it. Dang, we got um, 
are comments interval going from 90 or from going from negative 5.955 ish to about 2.3548. Um, for these ones, um, I also tell my students to, to um, list the degrees of freedom um, just in case, but um, it's just when it's a one, when, when it's a one sample t interval, it's very easy. It's just n minus one. So the degrees of freedom is nine. But make sure you mention that you did the calculation with technology in case they get suspicious or, uh, or something. But they really don't care. They really, they're really, the last time I checked, they were okay with this. As long as you mentioned that you use a calculator, you're not going to lose, you're not going to lose any points. And all they have to do now is just put that in, put that in context. For 95% confidence, the true mean mu sub difference or the true mean difference of the ages lies in the interval negative 5.955 to 2.3548. In case maybe sometimes they get paranoid, they wonder if they like will want you to put um the true mean difference grandma's age minus grandfather's age of the high school students. So like they want to maybe to repeat this again. But this is why this is why I put it here. See, I already put this here, and by referring to this, it should be clear to them that you know what you're talking about. Because these problems can run long if you have to run. If I, I wonder sometimes how much they want you to write because these problems can take over 10, 15 minutes. So it's, I, and that's usually enough. All right, and the second part. This is one of the sociologist research questions was about the, the mean difference in age in regard without regard to which grandparent is older. The interval constructed in part A does not address such a question. Based on the sample of high school students, get the value of the point estimate for the mean difference in age that could be used to address the sociologist question. Okay, so um, the way you can go about this is just look at the absolute value of the difference. So if you just go to the differences, if you don't, if you're, if you're not gonna um, like care if there's in, the, well, in their case, they don't want you to necessarily like care if it's grandma minus grandpa or grand, grandpa minus grandma. They just wanna know how far, how, how far apart are they in years? What's their difference? So you just take the absolute values of these, of these numbers here. Then, you just find the mean absolute value. And you'll get about 5.2 years. So don't overthink this because sometimes it may be like, you're, you may think it's, oh, this is, this is really easy. That's all you got to do. It's like, yeah. Um, so just trust yourself. Okay, so I hope that helps. Again, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to address it. Um, if you found this helpful, of course, leave me a little like or big thumbs up and subscribe if you, if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.